but they haven't been able to move forward much. The Lobos have done a good job of taking the lanes away. That run is on. And it gets off the hands of the keeper. Fisher is there! The Rams get the equalizer! Going into last week's games, um, I felt like because of all the, the questions we were trying to answer in preseason, I, I, to be fair, I didn't really feel ready for the first week. I felt like we were still in preseason a bit and did some good things, created some good chances. Um, but at the end of it, we're, we're pretty easy to get through on the counterattack and gave up four goals on six shots. Uh, and to be fair, the other two shots that were out of their six could have gone in as well at the post and, and one just missed. So, you know, this week I, I felt like we had a very good week of training. We tightened things up defensively quite a bit. And even with some guys out, um, you know, I thought we were very, very tough to get through. Um, you know, it just seemed more organized and more ready. I, tonight, and, and the guys and I, you know, I think we all felt good coming into tonight's game against a very, very talented New Mexico team. Talked about the schedule is there by design. It, it's there because the only way that you grow and you learn is by playing against other top opponents. And, and so we've got a group that has a lot of new guys out there and a lot of new roles people that maybe have been with us but but haven't been guys that have featured before and so I, I feel like you know kind of finishing up this week heading into tonight you know we we figured out our group a little bit as we are right now while well, we figured out our shape uh, we figured out uh, you know some details and, and so I think we were able to then come back against a very very good opponent in New Mexico and Devon Fisher following through on that one puts it in the back of the net and the Rams have tied it up with the number nine Lobos. I think what New Mexico did really well was they got under us, got some pressure on us. Uh, we didn't make some great decisions, especially in the early going, in terms of being able to get in the same rhythm that we typically do. Uh, the game was a little bit more broken. And when I told the guys at the half, when, when two really good teams play each other, sometimes it, it, it's not as easy as you'd like it to be. And sometimes you have to make intelligent decisions. And, and uh, you know, I was a little disappointed that, that we made a mistake that led to the first goal. And uh, their guy took it well. But we kept fighting and kept battling. And uh, we knew that if we did things the right way, we would get our chances. And, and certainly, you know, with our front guys, um, you know, especially Carlton tonight, Carlton was a handful. Richie and Devon were handfuls. Manel was a handful. Um, you know, when Mario and Bowie came in as the game went on, they really kind of started to help us settle down and, and connect some more passes. And we started to get some, some very dangerous looks. The, the lesson tonight is you learn how hard you have to fight every night against the best teams in the country. Um, tonight, you know, obviously, for both groups, we, they each took a lot out of each other. And so they've got a tough opponent in Georgetown who was a national runner-up last year. We've got Maryland who, you know, Maryland, New Mexico, Akron are probably three of the top five or six teams in the country. And, and we're going bop, bop, bop right in a row. And, and so it's a great opportunity for our players to continue to grow and continue to learn and be able to answer the bell. We're going to have to call on some other guys on Sunday to be prepared uh, to answer the bell. And, and, you know, I think they will. And certainly we're going to continue to grow and learn from tonight and look forward to Sunday and continue to grow and learn from Sunday.